Hello guys, welcome back. It's been a while. I know, but from now on, we're going to be uploading every week. So make sure to tune in. So today, in today's video, we're going to be setting up Chronoscent with our PlayStation 5. So let's get started. Make sure not to skip any steps. If you do skip any step, well, you're going to have errors and the setup probably is not going to work for you. So let's get started now. So first and foremost, what you need to do is open up your laptop or your PC, it does not matter. After you open up your laptop or your PC, install the Zen Studios. You can find the Zen Studio link to download it in the description. Make sure to check out the description. You can also find my Patreon on there as well and my Discord. So after you open up your Zen Studios, it's going to say Chrono Zen Not Found. So what you need to do now is follow my steps first take your chrono zen after you take your chrono zen take your short usb c wire this is what the usb c wire is going to look like is the shortest usb c wire you get with your chrono zen plug the short usb c wire at the top of your chrono zen like this this is the short usb c wire and it just went at the top of the chrono zen after that's done take your long usb c wire which you also get with your chrono zen as you guys can see, this is the long USB-C wire. As you guys can see, that's the long USB-C wire and plug it at the right side of the chronosin. After you plug the long USB-C wire at the right side of the chronosin, now you need to plug both of their USBs inside your laptop or your PC. So now I'm gonna plug in now I'm gonna plug it inside my laptop. After you plug in both of the USB, yeah. after you plug in both of the USB inside your Chronosen, uh, inside your Chronosen and onto your laptop or your PC, it should connect your Chronosen on your Zen Studios. After that's done, now, how to update your firmware? Well, that's really easy because that's the first step. What you need to do is uh, what you need to do after buying or after doing anything. So tools, online, firmware update, click on yes. After you click on yes, it's going to pop up uh, and open up your browser. And, and it's going to show you a website. So what you need to do here is click on connect. It's going to say no compatible devices found. So here's your, uh, here's your Zen. I will show you how to connect your your how to connect your Pronazen with the website. So it's really easy. Take your Zen, flip it upside down. You're gonna see a little blue button. It's gonna be very little, and you're gonna hold it down till you see Pronazen written on the screen. Now I'm gonna show you how it's gonna look like. I'm gonna I'm holding it down, and after I'm holding it down. On my Chronozen, it says Zen Bootloader, and on the website, it's gonna say Chronozen Connect. After you connect, you can you can see your Chronozen, you see your number, your current firmware. So after that's done, what you need to do is click on the latest, whichever the version is. Then uh, right now is the 2.2.12. I'm gonna click on the latest firmware. Now you're gonna wait a bit uh, till it flashes the new firmware onto your Chronozen. After it flashes the new firmware onto your Chronosend, it's gonna disconnect from the website automatically. And that's how you know that the firmware has been flashed successfully. So after your uh, firmware update is done, now what you, need, what you need to do is install a script onto your Chronosend. So how to do that, it's very easy. Go to your compiler tab, take any script you like, you can drag and drop either that or go to file, open and open your script but i'm just going to drag and drop as that's the most easiest after drag and drop go to your programmer tab click on the six lines drag and drop to any slot uh, i i already got it on my first slot so i'm going to just drag it and drop it onto my first slot again and i'm going to click uh, on program device it's going to say save to device please wait it's going to take around seven seconds so after it says it's going to say success so that's done 
you got your script also installed onto your Chronozen and you also updated your Chronozen to the latest firmware. After that's done, close out from your laptop uh, and your PC. And now we are going to PlayStation 5 now and I'm gonna show you how to bypass your Zen on your PlayStation 5. So now we are at PlayStation 5. So now I'm going to tell you how to connect your Chronozen onto your PlayStation 5. It's really easy. So uh, I'm going to disconnect my Chronozen from my laptop now. And here is your Chronozen. So what you need to do now is take your short USB-C wire. This is the short USB-C wire, as you guys can see, and plug it at the top of your Chronozen, just like how it was plugged in before. At the top of your Chronozen. And now you're going to plug this onto your PlayStation 5 at the back of your PlayStation 5. After it's plugged in to the back of your PlayStation 5, it's going to turn on and say Zen. So now what you need to do is take your controller, plug in any wire, whichever controller wire you got at the top of your Chronozen controller, uh, or on top of your controller, PlayStation 5 controller and plug that wire, that controller wire, onto the left side of your Chronozen. After we plug it at the left side of the Chronozen, uh, you should see a green light turn on on the left side. That means that your PlayStation controller has been connected and you should also see your controller turn on. That means that your PlayStation controller has been connected with your um, Chronozen successfully so now what you need to do is go to your settings go down till you find accessories after you find accessories you're gonna turn off your bluetooth right for me it's turned off but for you it's gonna be turned on so make sure you turn off your bluetooth and restart your playstation 5 as it's gonna restart it for you for you so after that's done uh you're gonna be back you're gonna get back to this page accessories and it should be turned off for you. After that's done, hover your select this select thing on to your turn off accessories. So what you need to do now is take your Chronozen and your controller. Now I'm gonna show you the bypass, which you need to do every time you use any script on any game. Every time you need to do it every time when you switch the script or restart your PlayStation 5. You need to do it every time so your Chronozen works with your PlayStation 5. So what's the bypass? When you get onto your accessories and your Bluetooth accessories is off, take go down to turn off accessories and just leave your PlayStation 5 and hover over it. And you're gonna take your PlayStation, uh, your Zen, your Zen, and you're gonna flip it upside down. As you remember, we updated the Chrono Zen firmware by pressing, uh, Holding it, this blue button. So now how to bypass it? It's really easy. You need to click this once. After you click it once, you need to hold this button down. You need to hold this down. You need to click this once. And you need to keep holding this down after you click it once. You don't need to hold it. Just click it once and hold it down. I'm going to repeat it again. This is the exact same uh, it's very easy and exact same stuff, which I'm going to explain again and again. You just need to click this once and hold this button down. So now I'm going to show you how it's going to look. Now, as you guys can see, my controller is over turn off accessories. You need to click this once. After I click it once, I'm going to hold this. I'm holding it, I'm holding it, it's gonna do some kind of macro. And after it's done, it's gonna it's gonna stop. The macro has been done and your Tronazen has successfully bypassed, as you guys can see. So now you can select any script you want. I already installed the Call of Duty script on my Chronozen. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna select that script and now you can go back to your game or go back to Whichever game you want to play, I'm going to go back to my code.
So my script is selected, my controller is plugged in, and the chronogen is plugged in onto your PlayStation 5. So now after that's done, now I will show you that my script is working and it's bypassing it's bypassing PlayStation 5. All right, now I'm gonna go to firing range and as you guys can see right now, I'm gonna shoot and my, I'm gonna turn on my anti, I'm gonna turn off right now my anti recoil. I'm gonna show you the difference that the script and the modes are working. As you can see right now, it's going up. Oh, shoot. And you can see it's going up. That means right now, uh, I have turned off all the modes, so I'm I'm just showing you guys that right now it's turned off. Now I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna turn on anti recoil. I'm gonna adjust the value. After I adjust the value, now you can see. You can see the chronozen is working with your PlayStation now. Of course, the value is high right now, so of course it's it's gonna drag it down very much. So, so. Now I'm gonna set the anti recoil value perfectly to show you guys one last time um, how it looks. You can get this script down from description from my Patreon link down in the description. Still going down. I'm gonna lower the value a bit more. As you guys can see, it's almost there. It's going a bit on the left side, so we're gonna adjust that. And we adjusted the horizontal values. And as you guys can see, zero recoil right there. It's going a bit up. We can adjust that as well. And as you guys can see, right there, we got zero recoil on our PlayStation 5. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's how you're gonna bypass your PlayStation Five. Um, that's how you're gonna bypass your Chronozen on your PlayStation Five. Uh, I will make more videos about it. If you guys have any questions, make sure to drop them into comments, uh, and I'm gonna try to respond to every one of the questions. And if you guys have any confusion, or you guys need, or you guys need help setting up your PlayStation Five or your uh, PC or Chronozen on your PC, make sure to check out my Patreon. So that's all guys for today and I hope you guys do enjoy my setup video and I will see you guys in the next video. Till then.